So Grok 3 got announced today. Elon Musk claims it to be the smartest AI on the planet. Uh, so what they're saying over here is in this graph is that, you know, Grok has taken much smaller time in terms of development when compared to the GPT series. And in terms of performance also, it is much faster in terms of, you know, you know other kind of uh, development which is happening in the models. The models are becoming much more smarter when compared to OpenAI. So how are they able to do it? They are able to actually scale their hardware. Uh, so in the phase one, they had 122 days to set up 100K GPUs. So this is what they have set up. In the phase two, uh, you know, they have set up in 92 days, they could expand from 100K to 200K GPUs. So they have this huge 200K uh, GPUs for training of their models, okay? Um, the next thing which they are saying over here is that uh, uh, this particular model, uh, which is Grok 3, which is a basic uh, pre-trained foundational model. Now, this particular model is actually on LMSYS, our early version of uh, this particular model, which went by the name Chocolate, has got an ELO score of 1400, which is the highest over here, where users try to rank various models on various uh, categories of uh, chat basically a chat abilities. So here it has got a 1400 ELO score, right? And the next thing is when they compare this on various benchmarks, Croc3 is the foundational pre-trained model, the large language model, a multi-model model, and Croc3 mini is a smaller version of that. And here, if you look at various benchmarks, like on math, science, and coding, so these are the focus areas for them where they pre-trained on uh, these fields basically math science and coding if you see the performance of Croc 3 and Croc 3 mini it is kind of uh, you know blowing the other models over here in terms of uh, uh, performance over here if you look at the scores the scores of these models are much higher than all the other models like gemini 2.0 or deep seek v3 or cloud 3.5 sonnet or gpt4 o right so this is your pre-trained model and then what they did over here was uh, they added thinking Right, so that's the next level reasoning. So Grok three had ten x more training data than um, Grok two. Um, I'm not sure if it is training data or this is also ten x more in terms of an effort required for training. Okay, um, then they added reasoning. Uh, so basically, test time inference for reasoning uh, models, and with the reasoning, uh, they uh, showed a demo of a couple of uh, coding and uh, you know. Uh, another task on um, um, this was a coding for uh, creating uh, um, orbit to from Earth to Mars and back. So how do you actually create an orbit? Uh, this thing. So this was the uh, code which it created, and when you run the code, this was the visualization which it had generated. Okay, and Elon Musk says or it is quite accurate. Okay, and then uh, they also showed the demo of a game, a Tetris game, uh, right? Using the same. Uh, reasoning basically and if you look at the reasoning performance of this model across various benchmarks again this model kind of beats o3 mini high uh, o1 uh, deep sea car one gemini 2 flash thinking and if you see over here for some of the performance of grok 3 mini is much higher than grok 3 reasoning because grok 3 mini has been trained much more than grok 3 reasoning beta okay so grok 3 reasoning beta is still in training Right. Uh, so if you see the performance, even the Grok 3 Mini is doing much better than some of the other models over here, as claimed by XAI Labs. Okay. Uh, then this is an interesting thing. This is a latest benchmark which came in 2025, and over here also the Grok 3 Reasoning uh, Beta and Grok 3 Mini Reasoning are showing much higher performance compared to O3 Mini, O1, Deep Sea Car1, Gemini 2 Flash Thinking. I am uh, I am not able to understand why. O3 is not being compared over here in these benchmarks, maybe because of availability or whatever it is. Okay. Then uh, the next thing which they talked about is that, okay, now that you have reasoning and you have, uh, you know, uh, a foundational model on a foundational model, you did reasoning, right? You have these reasoning models. So the agents are the next frontier. And then they introduce their agent, which is known as deep search, right? Uh, this was their agent uh, deep search and then they showed some two use cases of deep search over here one is about you know when is the next uh, starship launch right so this is a question which they asked uh, in the deep search to the deep search agent 
Uh, then it says thinking and then it says researching about Starship launch. So it is searching for what when did Starship launch. Uh, you know it searches and then it finds out some results from the web. Then it tries to consolidate those results and then it kind of gives an analysis of that. Comprehensive analysis of Starship launch scheduling. Okay. Uh, it talks about that and it says it's scheduled for no earlier than February 24, 2025. The investigation involved this, this, this thing, background context and it pulls up a research report. Now, this research report would save the user a lot of time and they're claiming it to be quite smart. Again, you need to compare on various scenarios with your open so uh, like open AI deep uh, research. So here they call it as deep search. There it is deep research. Okay. The next news is that uh, Grok 3 will be available on Premium Plus on X for Premium Plus subscribers starting from today itself. Right, they can access to all the new features, access to deep search, access to reasoning, increased usage limits, and all the premium um, features of X Premium Plus. So they have asked the users to do an app update. It's available on iOS as well as Android, right? And then they are going to launch an app called Super Grok, which is much more advanced capabilities. Uh, this is a uh, totally different uh, subscription plan uh, where it unlocks deep search and think early access to new features and so on. And they are also launching a website called grok.com today and where you can actually test out this provided you have access or subscriptions, right? So this is an exciting development. I don't know how much it is when compared to say an OpenAI O3, uh, but I think Grok is catching up with it or it might be better in certain places. Elon Musk claims it to be the smartest AI on earth. So unless you try it out, you don't really know how smart it is right but these are the initial impressions from their uh, launch live stream hope this video is useful to you if you like the video please share and subscribe to the channel see you in another video